Hello everyone, my name is Manish Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about dead weight loss in case of monopoly. Dead weight loss is loss of social welfare. Dead weight loss is loss of social welfare. Net loss of consumer and producer surplus. Or we can say that the combined loss of consumer and producer surplus. As we know, monopoly market charge higher price and produce less. And higher price and less production lead to market inefficiency, eventually become cause of dead weight loss. We will understand dead weight loss in case of monopoly by doing comparison with perfect competition. That's why first of all we will see consumer and producer surplus in case of perfect competition. Perfect competition always produce maximum output and charge less price as compared to monopoly. Perfect competition always produce maximum output and charge less price as compared to monopoly. That's why there is always enough surplus for producer as well as for consumer. On x-axis we have quantities, y-axis we have price. The DD is demand curve, this is OS is supply curve. E is market equilibrium point, OQ is equilibrium output and this is maximum amount of output which perfect competition market can produce. OP is market equilibrium price. First of all, we will see consumer surplus. This part, PDE, this part will be called consumer surplus. And OPE, this part will be called producer surplus. Means PED, this part will be called consumer surplus. And OPE, this part will be called producer surplus. Now we will see equilibrium price and output in both market. Perfect competition and monopoly with the help of this diagram. XX we have quantities, YX we have price, cost and revenue. This one is margin revenue curve. This one is demand curve that is equal to average revenue. This one is a margin cost curve that is equal to supply. As we earlier discussed, perfect competition produce more and charge less price as compared to monopoly. Perfect competition produce more and charge less price as compared to monopoly. That's why equilibrium point of perfect competition is E, but equilibrium point of monopoly is E1. At this equilibrium point, you can see perfect competition is producing OQ1, but monopoly is producing only OQ. That means perfect competition is producing more, but monopoly is producing less. Monopoly is charging OP1 price, but perfect competition is charging only OP price. So we can say that perfect competition is charging less price, but monopoly is charging a higher price. So we can say that perfect competition produce more and charge less price as compared to monopoly. So E is equilibrium point in case of perfect competition. As we earlier discussed, consumer surplus in case of perfect competition is equal to P. K E and producer surplus in case of perfect competition is equal to O P E. But in case of monopoly, price increase from P2 to P1. That's why consumer surplus reduce, but producer surplus increase. In case of a monopoly, consumer surplus is P1 K R and producer surplus is O P1 R. E1, as we earlier discussed, E1 is equilibrium point of monopoly. Now, please listen carefully because we are talking about our main topic, dead weight loss. In case of monopoly, P1, K, R, that means this part belong to consumer surplus. And P1, R, E1, O, this part belong to producer surplus. In case of monopoly, this part belong to consumer surplus and this part belong to producer surplus. But what's about uh, these two areas, this one and this one? Neither these two areas belong to consumer nor to producer. That's why this will be called uh, dead weight loss. These two areas will be called dead weight loss or we can say the net loss of consumer and producer surplus because these two areas neither belong to consumer surplus nor to producer surplus. So, these two areas will be called dead weight loss. This is all about dead weight loss. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.